This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Thursday, August 13th, 2020. And I got uh, breaking news. It seems that the government, uh, it started out in Washington State, has been stockpiling food in case of an emergency during this pandemic. They're expecting uh, a food shortage and people, they keep telling uh, us preppers and uh, average American not to hoard, not to stockpile food. And at the same time, when you watch the news, uh, all these hurricanes, catastrophes, they, they've been dumping milk, they've been slaughtering cows and chickens, and there's a food shortage coming. I've noticed when we go to the store, uh, things have changed. They have some things, but not as many of this. You buy six cans, now you're getting four. Everything when you buy in bulk, you're getting less and less. The, the cost has gone up. Well, here, Washington State has been buying up food for a giant pantry, supposedly to help uh, at the end of the year. They're expecting a crisis with, I guess, the second wave of this pandemic coming. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of videos up here. And what do you think of this one? What you're looking at here in this Fife warehouse is about 1,200 pallets of food. The purpose of this is to provide um, sort of a reservoir for uh, shelf-stable food that is entering the system to, um, to support our um, hunger prevention efforts around the state. Derek Sanderson, director of the Washington State Department of Agriculture, toured the state's new COVID strategic reserve on Friday. He was joined by a handful of other folks, including Thomas Reynolds, CEO of Northwest Harvest, which has seen an exponential spike in food insecurity since the pandemic began in March. And now here in August, we're experiencing a new peak due to the uh, cessation of the enhanced unemployment benefits. We don't know how long that will last. But the number of people who need help are staggering. We've shown you previous food distributions where folks have lined up and the food was gone in minutes. The WSDA says in November of 2019, 860,000 people a month visited food banks. Today, that number is expected to soar to 2.2 million. To put that in perspective, according to the census, there are 7.6 million people in Washington. So that would mean more than a quarter of the state's population would need food. This crisis surprised and deeply affected the United States. What I've been so impressed with is the state of Washington thinking about smart, executable solutions like this strategic reserve. Northwest Harvest is one of three nonprofits the WSDA is partnering with to address hunger. Within 48 hours of communities asking for help, these pallets can be placed on trucks and distributed to food pantries across the state. The focus is on stockpiling foods like canned vegetables, peanut butter, items that don't spoil easily. During the early days of the pandemic, they were also hard to come by at times as folks hoarded items, left store shelves bare and disrupted the supply chain. Extremely high demand. We're competing with every other state. We're competing in some cases with, um, you know, with, um, with national organizations that are trying to, you know, feed America. Um, so um, it, it's very important that we have a good handle on, on availability and demand for the shelf stable product. This warehouse has the capacity to hold 2,000 pallets, and though what you see here now are pallets packed to the ceiling, officials know this won't go very far, especially since we're entering the fall and winter where the need in the state typically goes up. Simney Kim, Cairo 7 News. Now, did you see what he just said? That's not just Washington State. That is, they're competing with other states and other agencies. Extremely high demand. We're competing with every other state. We're competing in some cases with, um, you know, with um, with national organizations that are trying to, you know, feed America. Um, so, is that the government? Uh, people are having problems getting food. People don't have. Some people don't have money. And when you go to the store, there's nothing on the shelf. They've been doing this since June. So, do they know something we don't? Are all these states? buying up food. Uh, I think it's time to start prepping people, start 
everybody was when this first started everybody was going to all the stores and stockpiling and they're telling us don't stockpile don't buy a bunch of food don't do this don't do that and there's a lockdown stay inside well now they're opening things up the pandemic's getting better it's getting worse there's more deaths there's less deaths and the numbers are going up they're, we're flattening the curve whatever the frick that means but at the same time they're allowing us to go out and be more free now they're complaining that you know people aren't wearing masks and it's going to get worse because people are on the beach and people are going to stores there's going to be another lockdown and there's not going to be any food there's not going to be any food on the shelves the, there's rains there's hurricanes the meat is pretty much all gone where this meat's coming from that we're getting in the stores i don't know where that's coming from i don't even know if that's real meat uh people we got to start start stockpiling food i don't care what they say now the united nations is warning the coronavirus crisis has put the world on the brink of a hunger pandemic 265 million people could face acute food shortages by the end of the year that is double last year's projections start stockpiling get cans of food get rice get beans this is ridiculous what he said was they're competing with other states and other agencies so what are your thoughts on this is this mass hysteria is this bullshit or did they get caught did it get leaked and people want to know what's going on so they just uh well this is what we're doing to help people we're going to run out of food the food is going to go bye-bye start stocking up water stay away from the bottle i know you, you got to get bottled water here and there but Try and find another uh, source for water. Get some kind of Berkey thing. And they've been doing this for the last two months. They've been stockpiling for the last two months. And they're expecting a food shortage. They're expecting us to panic in bulk, buy in bulk. And at the same time, they tell us not to. Why do they need all that food? Every state. Did you hear what he said? Every state. Things are getting bad. Things are getting worse. I think it's all only a matter of time. You see what they're doing. They're, they've been dumping milk. They've been killing chickens. They've been slaughtering cows. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how we're not out of food already. And the, the meat's gone up. But how do we still have meat? Uh, and this has been going on for months. And they've been stockpiling. That's just what we know about. That's just the one that came out. God knows what else has been going on. Every time you think of something, something else sneaks in the back door. They're doing more and more shit behind our back. You know, I don't know, get together with neighbors, community, family, find a place to store some food. Grow some food if you can. Uh, we're growing some stuff. We got some stuff out of the garden. Not half as much as what I thought we were going to get. I mean, we grew some tomatoes and potatoes and didn't get the yield I thought we were going to get. Uh, one variety of potatoes grew nice. The other one, you know, one whole row, I guess we had 10 or 15 plants and they were about the size of a quarter. Not going to survive off of that. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think this is legitimate? Do you think uh, this is a good thing for them to be stockpiling food um they're getting it i mean some of it hasn't even gotten here yet i mean they've ordered millions of dollars worth of food taxpayers money this is your food you know I and mean, this is taxpayers money where do you think this state is getting this money we're funding everything with our taxes we're funding this freaking government we're funding all the bullshit that's going on uh is this normal procedure for states to be doing this do you think they're going to help you or is the food going to stop and the only way to get food is to take the vaccine to get the chip or whatever you got to do to comply they're buying a lot of food if every state's doing this and the government's doing this if in two months from now this the food is all gone. You can't find food anywhere. If they do another lockdown, a total lockdown, where you can't go to the store, if they say you got 24 hours or 72 hours, or just say a week, 
you got one week to get as much food as you can, and you're going to be locked in your house because of this quarantine. We're going to lock everybody in the house, which they should have done in the beginning if this pandemic was real. Uh, the virus can only live for 14 days or whatever. You've got to be quarantined for 14 days. Well, we shut the whole country down, the whole world. Why don't they just lock down? Why don't they just put a lockdown, a total lockdown, for 30 days, for two weeks, two weeks to a month? Nobody out. This whole thing will be over in a month. But they don't. They string it out, string it on. Eh. Lockdown. Go out. Don't do this. Don't get your hair cut. Go get your go get your alcohol. Go to Walmart. Oh, don't do this. Don't do that. Can't get a DMV. Oh, we can't make any money. Like we can. So. What are your thoughts? This Pony Prepper Bill? Like and subscribe in the comments below. Let me know if I'm crazy, if I'm a lunatic, and do you think this is normal? Or if there's more shit that we don't know going on. I mean, this is just one warehouse. How many warehouses do they have? Uh, let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.